welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have been to M&S and I have got a full day's worth of new in stuff. When it comes to new in things, I think like Tesco, the bigger supermarkets are the best for snacks. But I think with M&S, they bring out some good main meals. So I've seen a few things that I wanted to try and some things that you guys have sent me over on Instagram. Also, I'm really like the lighting is doing me dirty today and I don't know if I've got smudge mascara under my eyes. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy seeing what M&S has to offer. If you like this one, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's see what I had for breakfast. I am getting way too comfortable on this channel. I'm literally here in my dressing gown. I've just washed my hair. <laughs> but I don't want to get ready yet. I just want to eat some breakfast. So, for breakfast, that was a Prosecco glass. It's having a celebratory Prosecco. I'll tell you why in a minute. Not this morning, by the way, last night. So, I have gone for the extremely cheese hot cross buns. One thing that M&S is not that great at is breakfast, I would say. Mm -hmm. Well, in terms of like bringing out new things, but obviously it's Easter time, so they've got a million and one new hot cross buns. But I tried their cheese and chili one, I think it was last year. Um, but yeah, I've never tried this, obviously it's new. Cheddar and Red Leicester hot cross buns, and I love Red Leicester. I feel like it's such an underrated cheese, but I love it. Um, and it says loaded with extra mature Barber's Farmhouse Cheddar and Smooth Red Leicester. So I'm just gonna have one of these with some butter. These cost me £1.65. I don't know how long these will be out, if they'll stay out or if they're just gonna be a thing for Easter. Let's do a little smell test actually. They don't smell too cheesy, which is actually quite nice because sometimes it could be a bit sickly, but so good so far. I mean, my cutting skills ain't too great, but it's got proper bits of cheese in it. These smell so good. It smells like cheese on toast. Let's see what these are about. Oh wow, these are good. Let me try the top bit. Top bit's always better, isn't it? I was actually going to some people that I've eaten one and then I'm going in on the other. I feel like this potentially could be my new favorite hot cross bun. I don't know why. It's just so simple. I just wasn't expecting it to be that good. It, it's got the taste of like a cheese twist. Mm. Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, I was having a celebratory. Am I saying that wrong? Am I pronouncing too many of the syllables? But last night we booked a holiday. I have not been on holiday since October 2019. I have been itching, like I love holidays. Um, I don't know, you know when you just get to the point where you're like, not, I don't, I don't know why it's taken me so long to book one, but I couldn't be bothered to go through the ag of getting excited for one, preparing for one, then it being canceled. So I feel like, touch wood, we are finally at a place where I can like book a holiday and feel confident that it's gonna go ahead. We are going at the end of June for a week and I'm going with my boyfriend so it's our first holiday together and then with my friend Ellen who you guys all know I think um and her boyfriend so should be fun I'm literally like oh my god that's only around the corner I said I don't think I've ever booked this type of holiday so last minute years ago when you used to book a holiday you'd book it like at the beginning of the year or a year in advance or whatever you'd be like next August we're gonna go here <laughs> really good I am gonna rate them Nine out of ten. Would defo buy again. Anyway, I will see you guys for a mid-morning snack once I look a bit more, you know, ready. <laughs> it's my favourite time of day. It's time for a snack. I picked these up. These are white chocolate and lemon flapjacks. These are three pound fifty for four. So it says oats, golden syrup, butter, orange and lemon peel flapjacks dipped in lemon flavoured Belgian white chocolate. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> They're like little discs, which is a bit misleading. I thought they, because looking at it from the top, I thought they were like quite deep. But it's just a little biscuit, basically. Okay. Oh my God, they smell good. Lemon and white chocolate are two flavours that I love. So that's cute, M&S. Bougie. Also, right, let me try this first actually. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Oh. They are literally nothing like I expected. So these haven't been in the fridge. They've literally just been on my side. But the texture. Right. Hmm. I do like the flavour. 
flavors are good texture's just not it like a flapjack shouldn't be hard like that none that i've ever eaten anyway it's kind of like caramelized yeah so that's what i was gonna say i was gonna put some makeup on but i'm too pale for my normal foundation i need to get some lighter foundation that's like really lightweight light coverage everyday kind of makeup so if you've got any recommendations of ones that i should try just leave it in the comments below anyway i'm gonna give this a five out of ten and i definitely wouldn't buy them again just for the texture alone bit of a letdown <laughs> I'm about to make lunch and today I'm going to have one of these chicken katsu burgers. This says juicy British chicken with a creamy and arom arom aromatic <laughs> curry sauce. Now for a pack of two, these were £4.50. They also had some like chorizo ones, but yeah, I thought I'd go for these. So I'm going to have one of these in a burger bun or well, not, actually not in a burger bun, in a bap. These aren't new. And for reference, these were 80p for four. What do you guys call them? Where I'm from, in Essex, um, I'm sure, well, no, I was gonna say I'm sure everyone in Essex calls them it, but they probably don't. Um, I call it a roll, but I know that some people call it baps, butter, it's a weird thing that I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know what to put with it, so I think I'm just gonna put some mayonnaise with it. I don't know about what. What else can I put in it? M&S, you have really screwed this up. So these say right for the grill. So I'm assuming being like, oh, you know, put these on your BBQ. <laughs> well, these are sticky as anything. I can't get it out. I've just been hanging them. Let me try and see if I can show you what I was doing. I'm literally like this, that they are not coming out. And I've just used a spoon. Okay, they're finally coming. Uh, but they were all like they're really mashy i feel like if you put that on the grill on the barbecue it would fall through the grill here we go i feel like this is gonna be a bit dry i wish i had i don't know like well i don't even know what else i put in it some lettuce maybe because it's like a funny color i can't it's, it's made me all nervous <laughs> Because it's orange, you can't tell like if it was undercooked or anything. I mean, it's really hot, but... It's what it looks like. It's actually very nice. Well, I think if you prepared this properly with better condiments, <laughs> then that would be really good. Let me finish it and then I'll give you a proper verdict. I do actually think it was really good, but just because I feel like it's full of flavour and I don't really know what to pair with it, I just think, I don't know. I just think like, would I recommend you to run out and buy it? it would it be a nice option to have something a bit different? Yeah. So I'm going to rate it overall 6.5. <laughs> right. I am now going to go and I'm actually going mattress shopping. Oh. So yeah, I do have something sweet to have, but I'll have that when I get back. So I will see you guys in a bit for that. It's time for a snack. My wonderful assistant is gonna try be the tripod for us, aren't you? Next thing I'm gonna try is the Golden Blonde Chocolate. It says it includes sea salt and it's topped with caramelized pistachios. This was three pounds. And I personally think this could be really good. But whenever I say that, always on top not being so good. Ooh! She bougie, baby. I'm gonna bite into it rather than break it. They're not just any pistachios. I knew it. They're caramelized pistachios. Mmm, the bit of all the saltiness to that is so good. No, it's quite good to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Make sure that stays in as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. What are we rating this? Five. Out of ten? Mm. Oh, you didn't think it was that good then? Like, it's, it's okay. Oh, yes, I wouldn't it. be rushing out to buy it again. See, I think this is so good. It's the bit of sea salt in it. I find that very minimalistic. Yeah, that's what I like. What you like, that there's not that much of it. Mm. I like it. I like it a lot. I want to try one of these. Okay. But so to me... What? 
it, the texture is not a flapjack at all. I think it's good to get more than one person's opinion, you know? Yeah, I like that. They are. It's very lemony. Yeah, see, I love the flavours, but I just didn't like the texture. It's not a flapjack for me. It was so hard. Well, what would you say a flapjack is then? Quite soft. It's got a lot of, like, syrup or something on it. That's what's yeah, it made does. it. it does. Well, it still tastes a flapjack. Really? Right, well, that's the afternoon snack. This is completely random. This is, is about five days later. I went to m and I was picking up some m and cans. What did I see? They have brought out a strawberry daiquiri. So I was like, I've just filmed an m and new in video. I need to include it. So I picked it up and I just thought, do you know what? I'm just going to insert this really random clip. But it fits, right? <laughs> strawberry and lime juice with white rum. Cheers. These are 8% by the way. If these are not part of your life, you need to make them. Hmm. I don't know if it's because I'm not in the mood for a drink. I mean, it is a Friday night, but the alcohol in it is very strong. It's okay. It's definitely not a new favourite. <sighs> I had such high hopes for you. Anyway, back to the vid. It's time for me to put dinner on. Now, this was the thing that made me think, oh my God, I need to do this video because m and have brought out this steak and chip pie. When this first came out, loads of views were tagging me on Instagram um, and I thought it was in the calf, but when I realized it was actually like something you could just buy, I was like, right, I need to try this. So all butter pastry, steak filling with tomato chutney and cheesy chips. And then to go with that, I'm gonna have a mac and cheese bomb. So this says, let's read it this way. Cooked pasta in a cheese sauce coated in a parsley breadcrumb with a smoky chili dip. I'm excited for this dinner. So here is my dinner. This is the steak and chip pie. It doesn't look so great. I had to cover it in foil to stop it from burning, but the cheese is literally like cremated. And then this is the mac and cheese bomb. I've also added some greens because I feel like it will go nice with the steak part of the pie. I'm going to try a chip. Oh, that's going to be hot. Okay, well, I can confirm that the cheese is definitely cremated. Not in a good way. Might have to actually pick that off. It's literally, look, not that you can really see, but I'm going to try a mac and cheese bun. Let me show you guys. That's what it looks like. See if it's got a good little cheese pull. Okay, I could work with that. Yeah, look, that's that cheese up close. Oh! Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it's got a taste of like vinegar. Something about that is a weird taste. I'm going to try it with this chili jam thing. Why do I look like I've got mascara all around my matte face? I look like Wednesday Adams today. <laughs> right, let's dip this in this. The only thing about me working this new schedule is that it doesn't fit in with my fake tanning routine. So on my filming days, I'm always pow. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Covers that weird taste. Yeah, so I forgot to update you all earlier that I went and bought a new mattress. It was honestly the most stressful experience because the man did not leave us alone. And I made it very, very clear that I wanted to be left alone. So like in the, in the mattress shop, we laid down and then it told you like what beds were best for you based on the way you lay and stuff. Like it was on some machine and it felt the contours of your body and stuff. <laughs> anyway. So we had a list of them and was going round and like on by the second bed I was just feeling so uncomfortable because he was just watching us get on and off the beds and like, do you know what I mean? I just wanted to really assess it without a man watching me. Yeah, so then I said, oh, like, oh, I want to go round on our own. How did I even say it? I didn't just say, oh, I want to go around our own. Like, I wasn't rude or anything, but I was like... I can't remember. Oh, I was like, oh, can you print us a copy so that I can go around? He was like, oh, that's what I was going to do. And then I said, oh, no, it's all right. We, we can do that on our own. After each bed, wasn't it? Yeah, he was on us. He was on us, bringing us waters. I was anxious before we went in there because of that exact reason. Wait, did I eat that bit of beef when I was telling the story? I don't even know now. So, yeah. Anyway, I have a new mattress coming next month, which I'm super excited for because... I've got bad back and I'm pretty sure that's the reason. Mm. The taste of the pie is really nice. I'm just not understanding the chips on top. Like, I just don't get it. It's really a novelty. And it's like 
cheesy chips, but the cheese is just like hard straws. It's not even nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you the prices. I keep filming with food around my mouth and when I'm editing it back, I'm like, I wanna jump in the screen and wipe it off. Anyway, so I forgot to give the prices. The steak and chips pie was five pounds and then the mac and cheese things were four pounds for two. So that dinner, including my runner beans, cost me 10 pounds. And my final verdict is the bombs weren't that nice. They had a weird taste. And the pie, the chips added no value. If anything, they deducted points. I wouldn't get either of those again. Anyway, I will see you guys for dessert. Changed because I went to the gym. I'm hungry for dessert. I will say that the katsu burger has been repeating on me all day and it's driving me mad. But anyway, for dessert, I'm actually having something that I've never had before. And I was thinking, oh, I should have saved this for a video where I'm trying things I've never tried before. I can't imagine it being new. Cause like, isn't key lime pie like just a normal thing? And it doesn't say new, but 1 million percent the sign said new. So we're running with it. Maybe it's the size that's new, but this is a digestive biscuit base topped with lime mousse, finished with lemon shreds. And I love citrus things like this. Like I love lemon stuff. So I think I would really like this, but we shall see. I'm gonna take this to my mum and dad's as well. Cause obviously, we ain't gonna be eating all this, it's huge. This cost me five pounds. Quite an expensive shop I've done here, isn't it? I feel like I want something really quite refreshing, you know? I feel like I've eaten quite stodgy things. I don't know, I just want something quite fresh. I lick, my boyfriend kills me for licking this, but I'm gonna taste it. Okay, hmm, what it looks like. I can't believe I've still got this mascara smudged around my eyes. Oh my God, that is so good. It's basically just lime cheesecake and I don't really like cheesecake, but the biscuity bit, kind of like more like a mousse, I don't know, but this is really good. Mmm, this is definitely my favorite thing of the day. Although I did really like the cheese hot cross buns. The cheese hot cross bun was just like, I don't know, it's more like a, like a new staple. Nine out of 10. This reminds me of something you'd eat in the summer or on holiday. I've got nothing else to chat crap at you about, so <laughs> I'm just gonna end the video here. But yeah, it was good to see some of the new things that are in at MNS. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.